Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel, or uh, over at the website. Um, new pickups video, it's going to be a smaller one. The reason I'm doing one immediately almost after the last one I did is I'm getting ready to rearrange and clean the game room. So all this stuff's going to be put away, and I'll forget to mention things. In fact, that controller is not from the thrift store today. I went secondhand store shopping today. That's from the mail, and it was supposed to be in the last video, and I forgot. And I got some Genesis games I forgot, but I just put them away, and I'm not digging them out right yet, so... That's why I'm doing this, so I don't forget. I always forget. Alright, so, went to the thrift store today. Kind of a bummer day. Kind of a good day, in a way. Um, no crazy cool titles. I did get some two interesting things that I enjoy. Uh, I did get a couple other things that are non-video game related. You know other weird things I collect, but uh, for right now, let's talk about some of the things I got. Let's get this out of the way. I got this, and this guy sells all kinds of boxed and sealed stuff, I mean, it's pretty cool. I got this on, uh, what day? I can't remember what day it was that it came, but uh, it's a wireless controller, and at first I thought this was garbage. I thought it was complete garbage, and I figured it wasn't going to work a little bit, you know, because of the time and whatever. But it didn't work at all, and uh, it, I could see the lights on both sides. When you press a light, it lights up different colors, so you know it's working on the center. That's the center, that big thing. Um, so I was, I was just really upset, and I was just like, man, I expected it to not work, you know, but work. I expected, you know, to run and there'd be lots of glitches and stuff like that, but I expected to get something out of it. Anyways, here's the weird thing, and if you ever get these and play them one player, this is just so bizarre. Try this before you give the guy negative feedback. I didn't give him any negative feedback. I was going to keep... I never give anybody negative feedback, even if I want to. I just leave nasty, positive feedback. I couldn't do it. I sell that's crap to get negative feedback over nothing. Or something you probably mentioned. Um, so right here, and it's blurry because I'm in night mode, and it's night, and this room sucks. I've mentioned that in a couple videos, too. You got your off one player, two player. For me to get this to work at all, and I only own one controller, and I tried crossing the connectors both ways, it has to be set to player two. I don't know why, but it works perfect. It actually works so much better than I even thought it would look work. It works like a regular wireless controller. You got to be in front of the center, sensor granite. But for the time especially, it's really responsive when you got the sensor lined up right. It amazed me. Takes a ridiculous amount of AAA batteries. Um, pay $5 for this. I won the opening bid, 99 cents, and it was, uh, you know, like 4 bucks shipping. So it was less than 5 bucks. That's pretty cool, huh? And it came instantly. I was, I was shocked. I didn't even think. I, I thought this was... A bad trade with somebody on YouTube that was finally coming. I was like, finally, you know, it, it's coming. And uh, <laughs> it wasn't. It was this. I could not believe it was already here. So that's really cool. And it was brand new when I got it, yes. Um, it didn't come with the box, just the styrofoam and everything. So next what I got here uh, for a dollar is who wants to be a millionaire on the PS1? This is the second edition. I like testing my brain every once in a while and um, interacting with it. I think it's a little funner than guessing on the show and stuff. And, you know, makes me feel like a brilliant man or a complete idiot. But I like games like this. I have who wants to beat up a millionaire for the Dreamcast. And uh, it's just basically who wants to be a millionaire um, style. You get a beat up Regis, but... This is pretty cool, uh, if you like. I'm going to play it a few times and then probably sell it or trade it. But, anyways, and then I picked up NFL Game Day 2001 for the PlayStation. And I probably, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. If I keep it, it's because I don't own any football games on PS1. And I just started uh, collecting for... PS1, PS2, and PS3, I've kind of had a personal grudge against Sony being a Sega fanboy, but all that is in the end, and I play on every game console, so I love video games. I just realized me hating a company was just cheating myself out of a lot of opportunities to play some really good games, so I like every game system. Uh, they all have at least one killer app. NFL Game Day 2001. It's, um, all these were in kind of crap to crap 
beer condition as far as the disc goes but I took them to the store and had them resurfaced they all look brand new toy brand new uh, so that's great um, I work at the store that I took them to so I didn't have to pay anything so I didn't go into the overall cost this was another buck um, this was cool and the reason I bought this one is because uh, it had two discs in it so I guess that's 50 cents if you think about it it had that game in it and Tony Hawk 2 in it and they didn't seem to care so you know I didn't care and I don't know I let them know but they was just like huh two discs oh we only charged a dollar for two discs and they weren't getting what I was saying so I just decided to score Tony Hawk 2 got it for the Dreamcast don't got it for PS1 so maybe I can do some comparison videos alright moving on I got this and I don't know why I've been collecting Pokemon stuff lately. Like I'm, I'm cool with it and everything. But lately I've been, I'm gonna, I got plushes and stuff. I've just been kind of going nuts on it when I see it. But I think I want to put it all together in a ginormous lot and just put it on auction and see what happens. So here's a little book. It's a kid book. And this isn't the books like I've got in the past that are Pokemon books. This is a Pokemon story. So. Sad thing is, I'll read it. You know I will. And then I got this. And this is really cool. I kind of found this in the toys just sitting there. And how it was placed and everything, I'm amazed that it was in this good a condition and not all crumply. This is a Super Mario Brothers. And it's an official licensed product. Comic book. With some really cool really cool animation and there's another thing I just thought was crazy about this right so maybe it's because they wrestle or something but they have the official Nintendo logo and all that information and then they have the World Wrestling Federation's logo and infra information like I said I have not read through this comic book I don't know if they use wrestling references or there's a cameo from a wrestler but I mean this is pretty cool I was really excited to find this and it was only 10 cents so this is really cool to have as a part of the collection <laughs> and this isn't video game per se but I got a Teddy Ruxpin book and taping thing for the you know for the Teddy Ruxpin and this is from 1985 but the reason I'm getting this and showing you this um, is because earlier I showed an unboxing and a video of my Action Max I just got and World of Wonders is who makes that and they also made the Teddy Ruxpin and uh, some other things so just kinda thought that was fitting you know since I just talked about the Action Max to show you some of the other stuff that they did Teddy Ruxpin was this creepy tape or a creepy bear that you put a cassette tape in its back and it used to scare me to the point they hid it from me when I was a child so I have to get a new Teddy Rock spin so. and my the Teddy Rock spin I had had it anyways it's falling apart so it's not even worth it but yeah that used to terrify me and it got hid for like 10 years and then uh, after it's just like falling apart and so and here's the last thing I got for one dollar in the box and it's probably only worth the dollar this is a Wii knockoff I've seen these before but not this one it's a little circle all the pieces are there inside I checked um, golf bowling tennis baseball and boxing there's only five games on this one usually there's a lot more in this type but I thought it was interesting the graphics are pretty good look at those accessories <laughs> totally wee uh, so I'm gonna give it a shot in no way do I think this is gonna hold a candle to the Wii but it's kind of a fun novelty and it's kind of a cool thing to have in my collection for just a buck I really couldn't pass it up good condition has the box everything this is the type of thing that's gonna be crazy rare in 50 years from now you know when we're all cyborgs this is the stuff that the cyborgs are going to be collecting they want to know where they came from they want to know uh, what they evolved from and they'll be collecting this type of thing 
so when the when the machines and the humans cross in 2042 or whatever they'll be looking for these all right well the video turned out to be pretty good because uh, I'm a blabbermouth and I talk a lot so that's good 10 minutes for you we'll see you guys later stuck in the 90s webs dot com check out crazy this thing is that's how you turn it on and off and I don't know what the hell this thing is does the same thing very odd and look this controller is brand new it still has a little garbage tie and everything huh it's like they go oh this one is too it's like I asked for a Wii and I got my sports challenge fun so I got it's brand new condition I'm, I'm really excited to check it out like I said I know it's not going to be nothing <laughs> like the Wii it's just the, one of those plug and pay plays basically just a motion plug and play but no triggers on the back I'll do a full console review on it. I just thought I'd show you guys because the, the console is weird looking got your standard it isn't stereo but just got your standard three here awesome 